I don't know. Why are they gonna make it hard for me? Okay, so these are the shades. I'm hot with the lights. I'm hot. I'm not complaining though. I'm really not, please. Please keep the sun. Don't take it away from me. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. As requested, we're gonna be trying the new Glow Wish by Huda Beauty Multi Dew Skin Tint. And I also got the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powders. I've got three shades. I will swatch all of them for you guys so you can see. Today's post notification shout out is gonna to go to Amatullah Huned. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so, or you can just leave a nice comment. Got my little leaflet here i'm so excited since i saw this product you guys know i've been really into like skin tint tinted moisturizers so when i saw huda come out with these i was just honestly so excited before the skin tint there are 13 shades they say that they're stretchable so i feel like one shade can wear well on different skin tones it's a luminous moisture packed skin tint that instantly blurs and brightens for a radiant soft focus and dewy finish it's sheer coverage super bendable and literally gives you second skin vibes it's perfect for every day and we love a fuss free application i also got a brush for this which i'll be using today it is fragrance free waterproof transfer proof and non-comedogenic it's sustainably sourced by red bell pepper extract Damascus rose oil and plant derived squalene. Packaging 100% recyclable, they're vegan friendly, they're not tested on animals, which they are on Colts Beauty and they're £32, so it's a bit pricey for skin tint. The Fenty Beauty skin tint is 25 So yeah, this is definitely more on the high-end side. Then I love my NARS tinted moisturizer, and that is £31. So it comes to somewhat the same price. I don't know if I have any drugstore ones, but those are like my go-to, right? Oh, in the NARS one you get 50 mil, and in the Huda one you get 40 mil. So I would say that this one's slightly more pricey compared to like other similar products that I use from high-end brands. The shades I have are six medium tan, seven tan light, and also got five medium. I think five is too light for me. This is what the product looks like. So let's swatch five first. One would say that is my skin tone. I think it's like the Fenty Beauty one. Like literally, I can get away with 12, 13, and 14. 14 is definitely more my summer shade. Um, 12 and 13 are literally like my skin tone and I can get away with both. I always get asked like what shade I am in the Fenty skin tint and like literally I could wear 12, 13, 14. Like literally. And I feel like it's going to be the same situation here. So I'm going to try 6. 6 is very yellow. And then we've got 7 which is actually a little bit darker. But don't you feel like I can get away with any of these? I'm definitely between five and six. I don't know. I don't know. Why are they gonna make it hard for me? Do you know what? Let's try five. Let's try five. This is the brush that I got sent for the skin tint. It's quite flat. I'm not used to this. I'm not a fan of the brush. I'm really not a fan of the brush. It's going very streaky. So I'm gonna use more like a, a Kabuki flat brush. A little bit light, see? This is why I always go a little bit darker. It's going a little, the tiniest bit ashy around my mouth. So I'm gonna go in with six around my mouth. So if I was to buy this, I would have probably just gone for six. Especially since I'm gonna be darker but for my cheeks like five is like perfect but then six like i'm literally blending it and it's like my skin and it's not going ashy so i think six would be the one for me and bear in mind i am at my playlist at the moment but like this is blending so beautifully it's literally like skin very sheer coverage I feel like I get more coverage. I'm gonna use six all on this side. Brothers. 
but obviously you can still see my scars here you can see like it's a bit lighter here compared to here but yeah it's definitely sticks for me it blends perfectly i'm using daylight so the lighting will probably change a bit i've also got light just in case in front of me but this is mostly daylight i feel like i definitely get more coverage with my fenty skin tint and my nars tinted moisturizer i mean it feels super lightweight the only thing is i would definitely set it powder it's very like i love glowy skin but this is definitely on the glowy side so i would definitely use a bit of powder with this for sure I'm going to keep it super natural today, so I'm just going to use a bit of Tarte Shape Tape. I mean, don't it look really nice? I like it. I'm just going to set my under eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium. I'm also going to set the rest of my face just slightly because, like I said, it's so glowy. Okay, let's try the bronzers. I, guys, you know I love a good bronzer. I think the one I'm going to use... I think some of these are too light for me. This is two. Okay, so these are the shades. This is a shade two. And then we got three and four. But obviously because they have this swirl effect, it's hard to see what shade I am. Okay, two is way too light. It doesn't even show up on me. Okay, so that's two. I don't know if you can see it. Three and four. I'm kind of drawn to three because it reminds me of Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. Like the tone of it is more like a just like a natural bronzer shade it's not too cool or red whilst the four is definitely leaning more to the red i also got sent this bronzer brush but again i don't think i'm gonna like this it's way too dense for my liking for bronzer look at the pattern though doesn't that look so nice i kind of like that blown out effect oh see three is perfect i'm glad i didn't go with four really easily blendable like it's not giving me any Bron a lot of bronzers lately have been going patchy especially around this scar but it sat beautifully on my skin right now it blended really nicely i'm just going to finish off with the gloss this is the maybelline lifter gloss in the shade topaz it's like one of my favorites lately i mean i'm really not mad I actually i'm going out this weekend and i feel like i want this look like i want this skin it's really glowy but it's skin like it just looks like my skin is just it's just been cleansed and refreshed flawlessly natural it's just skin skin right i don't know let me know what you guys think i'm not mad i'm really not mad this is definitely up my sh i'm gonna insert a video here of when i'm outside in daylight so you guys can see what that looks like but so far i'm really happy i'm not gonna rate it just yet but i have nothing negative to say with everything i tried like the bronzer is gorgeous it blends so beautifully and three is like perfect it's perfect for me it didn't even go patchy it's just like so easy to use okay so it's now 10 a.m i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and we'll see how this sits through i have a feeling it's gonna go really oily on me even though i have really dry skin and i've set it with powder it has this kind of like glowy sheen on it my nose is so dry ignore that this is not because of the product this is just because of my skin treatment at the moment i'm hot with the light i'm hot i'm not complaining though i'm really not please please keep the sun don't take it away from me the bronzers are a good 27 pounds but pff, like just on my first impression it's so stunning i'm not mad at the price at all and with the bronzer it says it's light as air definitely agree take you from a natural sun-kissed glow to a more contoured look i agree okay it, it kind of gave me both velvety creamy and super buildable agree 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 it's a radiant formula it applies like silk with blurring pigments that blend so seamlessly i mean i agree to all of this you guys saw like i blended that bronzer like it was nothing and bear in mind this has been giving me so much pain with my bronzer and this didn't even do that it didn't even do that it says that there's good for skin ingredients in the products which i love and i think that's what makes this different it's got in the bronzer there's infused shea butter it's vitamin it's got vitamin e plant derived squalene anyways i'm gonna stop blabbering so far i'm really happy i'm like i'm giving it a 9 out of 10 i think i wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 because it's definitely more on the glowier side and i have to i feel like i have to carry powder with me that's what i'm getting off of it but we'll see. And yeah, I will see you guys later on. All right, guys, it's now 5.19 p.m. I've worn this for a, almost six hours, I would say. 
this is holding up pretty well no smile lines my skin still looks really good but the only thing is is that it's so glowy but like not in an oily way sometimes when i wear like these kind of products or even like hydrating foundations they're like so oily and like it transfers right this is different this is like you putting an illum in like kind of mixing an illuminator with a matte foundation and it reflect it gives this reflection that's what i'm kind of getting from this foundation i didn't notice any transfer even though it looks super glowy which is different so i feel like with with a mask and everything this would be quite long wearing whilst with some other products i felt the need to powder whilst with this i haven't so yeah it's really nice would i wear it again for sure i think i want to wear this when i go out this weekend I mean, look at my skin i look youthful i know i'm i'm still 26 right but i look youthful like i just came out the womb you know i just like it i didn't put any blush or any highlight and i just love the way my makeup looks you guys know i have to do a close-up this is mostly daylight by the way you can really see my skin right now I mean, good, right? What? This doesn't oxidize, so that's a plus. I think it's long wearing. I feel like this could go for even longer. I would definitely recommend using powder with this product. And this is without primer. I feel like with primer, this will be even more long wearing. I mean, the bronze is a 10 out of 10 for me. The, the skin tint, I would say, is a 9 out of 10. I feel like you definitely need to powder. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. They've done so well with this naturally derived ingredients which were sustainably sourced it's vegan it's not animal tested and part of the container is made out of post-consumer recycled material i mean you can tell like it's really well thought out i mean nobody can say anything about her and her team i just feel like they just hit it like they hit it every single time i like this i like that there's no scent i love that it's just skin like like if i'm going on holiday this is these are coming with me but yeah overall i'm really really happy guys i'm i just love it don't come for me I, I know i like most of her products but it's not my fault she's coming out with banging products okay i'm definitely a six and i feel like for if i tan definitely a seven um i can wear five but it's only for like the center of my face i can't wear it on the outer part so it does go a little bit ashy so i hope that really helps please give this video a thumbs up if you found this review helpful let me know what i should try next these two products are definitely anushka approved thanks so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video